Welcome to Live from Daryl's House. Uh, we have a very special show today. This is a celebration of my best friend and uh, one of the greatest musicians, not one of, the greatest musician I've ever worked with, T-Bone Walk. Uh, we all got together, all of his friends, all the people in the Hall & Oates band, and played some songs that he would have wanted to hear. And in addition to that, we're going to go to his house where T-Bone actually grew up and hang with his father and his uncles and his family. And then we're going to his favorite pizza place, and LaMonda's Pizza, and getting a, a garlic pizza that T-Bone so loved and so did I love. I met T-Bone in 1984. 81. I was about 21. 30 years. 25 years ago. I knew who he was immediately. He was Tommy Wolf. He was the guy with the hat. San Diego. Brendan Bernarina. Humphreys by the Bay. He came to audition. He became uh, T-Bone. Everybody was like clay in his hand. The ultimate neutralizer. And they just put us all together. He was a great player. He was really deep. And when you first meet him, it's like you want a sandwich. I don't think he had a sandwich. I think we had a drink that night. If you needed a guy to make you an egg salad sandwich or an awesome bass line, you call T-Bone. I don't even need to fucking play with you here. I'm just gonna like look at this thing. Are you using your penis too? You're like using everything. <laughs> the zig. Having a good day. I'm inspired by your God music. Damn, you're good. I've, I've had trouble before Stop here. Stop it. He was just light years beyond. Guitar, bass, mandolin, Hammond organ, keyboards, and all the stringed instruments. The accordion. He had that Americana thing. T-Bone was the New York State accordion champion at 14 years old. He was tremendously talented technically, but lots of people are. He had a certain sensitivity that few people have. Some people are talented, but they kind of hold it for themselves or an ego thing. He was just, he wanted to give it to you. A bass line is a song within a song. I honestly can say that I don't think I've ever met a better musician than him. On, and I don't care who it is. I definitely equate him to being somebody like Evil Knievel in that he's, like, he's not gonna, he's not, no, oh, there he goes, and he's hitting it. How did you do that? Because I'm a busy motherfucker. And you know what? When I play that shit and I do my thing, I don't need to review it anymore. There's plenty of better players, I'm sure. You know, guys who with faster fingers or more, you know, flamboyant technique or whatever. But to me, that doesn't make a musician. We cut us the song, neither, neither One of Us. I was singing and he was producing. It was just the two of us in the room. And I started crying while I was singing that song because it's such an amazingly sad song and T-Bone was crying and we're both crying. I finished the song and we're laughing and crying at the same time with tears running down our face because it was so, our hearts are so much, both of us, on our sleeves. That's the kind of guy he was. Something that I noticed about him when he was playing, especially when we used to, we used to trade off solos, you know. I'd play some and he would play some on his bass. You know how the sax player, you have to take a breath and then you blow and then take another breath. Well, he did that when he was playing his bass. He would take a breath, and then the phrase would happen. The phrase would be over, he'd take another breath. You know, a very musical way of doing it. I, I doubt if he was even aware of it, but that's what, that's what he did. When you go on stage, if Bone was anywhere near you, you were fine. Hey! 